Hi, I'm Ernesto, class of 2021. Good morning, ball high. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the studio of dreams at Tour Nation Productions, Isaiah Courtney and Mia Cardenas. Reporting from the studio of dreams at the worldwide headquarters of Tour Nation Productions located at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas, welcome to the award-winning Good Morning Ball High. I'm Isaiah Courtney. To get things started, let's check in and find out about this day in history, courtesy of our good friend, Dave Mendel. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. It's time rewind for February 5th. We're all familiar with the British invasion of the early 60s, but did you know there was a musical invasion a few years before that on the other side of the pond? Bill Haley, who along with the Comets gave us the smash rock around the clock, sails into Southampton in 1957 aboard the Queen Elizabeth. Thousands of fans greet Haley, the first American rock musician to tour the UK. Still more mob him when his train arrives in London. At Waterloo, the king of rock and roll was welcome by, well, just dig those happy cats are not a square in sight. Staging her own invasion in 1966, this single makes Petula Clark the first British female artist to have two U.S. number ones. Also on this day, in 1972, Bob Douglas, known as the father of black professional basketball, becomes the first African-American enshrined in the Basketball Hall of Fame. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. Now back to Isaiah with more of Good Morning Ball High. The topic for this year's Optimist International Essay Contest is, Is Optimism the Key to Achieving the Dreams You Imagine? Local contests will be held soon. For further information, see Mr. Merritt. February is Kindness Month. Today, ARC challenges you to help the cafeteria workers wipe the tables down. If everyone wipes down just their area, it would really help out our wonderful custodians and cafeteria workers. If you see someone doing an act of kindness, report it to Ms. Martinez so a leaf can be added to the kindness tree. Let's make the world a kinder place, one act at a time. Welcome to Affirmations Gone Wild, where teachers and staff are affirmed by their colleagues, peers, and students. Today's affirmations are from Mr. Godfrey and Ms. Seiler. Mr. Godfrey is being affirmed for his hard work and dedication every day and the extra efforts for the senior class. Ms. Seiler is being affirmed for making connections with her students and providing a safe place for them to be. If you'd like to affirm a teacher or staff member, please bring your written affirmations to room 1092A or 1092B. And finally, congratulations to Ms. Cox for being recognized as an outstanding teacher at Galveston College. Now here's Isaiah with an announcement. Hi, I'm Isaiah Courtney, and I'm currently writing and producing a new short film. Now, I don't care if you're the best actor ever or the worst actor ever, I still want you to audition. Auditions will be held this Friday after school at four in room 2003. If you're interested, come on, stop by. I swear, it's gonna be the easiest audition ever. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Isaiah. Be sure and send all of your announcement requests to Mr. Dudas. All requests must be emailed directly to him. Before we go, a wise person once said, life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breaths away. Think about it. I'm Isaiah. Have a terrific day. Good Morning Ball High is produced by the students in the media arts small learning community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.